Hej, hvorfor? Hej. How's it going? Very well. Thank you. How are you? Good. I'm great. I'm great. Um, are you ready for the weekend? Yes, I am. Right now. Good. So, how was your day today? Um, better than yesterday. That's good, I guess. Was your day yesterday good or bad? Um, kind of bad. Oh. Well, I'm glad it's better today. It's, uh, it wasn't that bad. It's just that I was have to drink camel or milk. Then. <laughs> what? You had to drink camel milk. Why? Um, because we go there. Um, I go there with my father and my mother, and I didn't know that we were going there. Then he just buy a camel just a camel milk for me. And you don't like camel milk? No, I don't like. Uh -huh. Don't your parents know that you don't like camel milk? They know. They know, but they bought it for you anyway. Yeah, I have to drink it. Anyway. Why do you have to drink it? I, I I'm just curious. I've never I don't know anything about camel milk. Is it? For ritual or for medicine or for health? For uh, like medicine. Uh huh. Were you sick? Um, yeah, kind of. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Hmm. I'm not totally understanding this story, but it's interesting. Camel milk. What part she didn't understand? Well, you said kind of sick. Like, uh, w w what does that mean? <laughs> like, like um, at night I cough a lot. So oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you so getting? It's not that serious, but they okay. used to worry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was fine. I just wasn't sure. Um, are you getting enough sleep? Yes. Okay, good. Because it's, it's easy to get sick if you don't sleep enough. All right. So make sure you drink lots of your tea and your, is it called a tie? What's it called? Your tea? Yeah, a tie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find it online, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't spell it. And also a tie is a, is a very common Turkish name, so I couldn't, I couldn't find anything about, <laughs> about the tea. Um, if you just put a T in my tiny T, you will find it. Oh, I'm not that smart. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I just told you what we named it, mm. what we called it. Uh, yeah. is, does a tie mean... T oh, it is. Yeah. I did spell it right. I spelled it right, but it just it's such a common word that uh, it's hard to find. It's, A-T-A-I means a lot of things in the world. It's a name, it's a city, it's a lot of things, so it's very hard to find. Mauritanian tea. Good. Maybe I'll do a class on that. Hamoud is back, hello. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Good. Uh, so, we have a food class today, food class, we're going to talk about dessert, um, but this article we're going to read is actually more of a business uh, article, so this class will be kind of more about business, the business of frozen yogurt shops. These are very popular, and... And uh, I hear they're even popular in uh, 
uh, KSA. And uh, is that true? Have you guys seen these frozen yogurt shops? No. No. I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. Wafa? Um, are you sharing picture? Because I can't see. No, no, I'm not. Am I frozen? <laughs> no. No, oh, okay. Uh, frozen yogurt. So, Is it a special uh, shop for uh, yogurt? It's a special shop for a dessert yogurt. It's a cold yogurt, and you eat. It's kind of like ice cream. It's like ice cream, but it's made with made with yogurt. Uh, I'll show you the article right now, so you can see the pictures. So it's a shop that sells this yogurt ice cream, basically. I'll show you some pictures here. This is the article we're gonna read soon. Like this. Uh, this. Do you guys see uh, anything on the screen? I don't. No. Oh. You are frozen. Uh, okay. But I don't know if uh, the problem is my connection or. No, it's it's. Let me refresh my screen. I can't see it. No. Okay, let's try this again. This is frozen yogurt. It is ice it's like, cream. It's, no, it's yogurt. It's made with a different ingredient. So ice cream is made with cream and milk. This is made with yogurt. So it's very, very, very similar to ice cream. It tastes like ice cream, but it's a little bit different. Um, and But these frozen yogurt places, I'll show you a picture. Well, yeah. So, whoops. In these special places. Let me look here. What happens if I click on this picture here? They're like, hmm. They're like little shops, and there's many, 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 um, uh, ing uh, like ingredients that you can put on. Uh, you can choose to put on different toppings. Like as you can see from this picture, see this, there's all these different things you can put on the frozen. There's nuts, fruit, chocolate, see all these different nuts, things. gummy bears, whatever, anything you want. Uh, oatmeal, I don't know, blueberries, oh, whatever. Mind. Put them all, yeah, anything. So these shops are very popular in the United States and around the world. And uh, and this article explains financially why it's so popular. So in a, on a business aspect, we're going to learn about some delicious dessert. Uh, we're going to talk about business and we're going to talk about dessert in the same class. So why are these little frozen yogurt shops so popular? You see them popping up everywhere. They're, they're appearing all over the cities. Uh, I think Susu told me that she's seen them in Saudi Arabia. So... Um, so I was asking you guys if you've seen them before. So, but it is available here in Saudi Arabia, but uh, it is ice cream. Mm -hmm. Frozen yogurt. <laughs> it's different. Different. It's a different taste and a different ingredient. It's, but it's it's very similar. Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the class. Um, uh, this high intermediate class, we're going to talk about modals of ability and permission. Um, can you eat dessert after every meal? Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, but I need uh, half hours after uh, a meal. Ah, so you need a little bit of time and then you have dessert? Yes. Do you often eat dessert after a meal? 
No. Sometimes when I buy uh, um, the meal from uh, from outside my house. Oh, okay. Sometimes I take a, I, I buy a dessert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about you, Wafa? Can you eat dessert after every meal? Sometimes, but not very often. Mm -hmm. Because you're not able to, or you don't want to, or you're not allowed to, or you don't have time, or <laughs> why? I'm sorry. Uh, why only sometimes? Because sometimes I'm already full, so why I? Yeah, okay. I just I know some people that I know some people that need to have some something sweet after their meal, uh, even if it's a piece of fruit or candy or something. Uh, some people just need that some kind of dessert after a meal. Um, so some people can eat. Dessert after every meal, uh, but I, I don't normally eat dessert. Um, I, I mean, it's good, I guess. Some dessert, like frozen yogurt. That frozen yogurt looks pretty good. I would eat some of that right now. That looks good, but I don't often eat it. It's kind of a special occasion for me. Everybody's different. Everyone has a different, um, you know, traditions or styles for how they eat. So. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, modals, um, models of ability, models of permission. What uh, what are models of ability and permission? What are some examples? Let's talk. Let's start with let's start with. Um, Models of possibility. If something is possible, what words can we use to say that something is uh, possible? Can, can, could, may, might. All right. Can, could, uh, I could do that. May, may, might. might. So, um, um, you can yeah you can use might if you're maybe if you're asking permission like, like uh, might I borrow your car you can say yeah um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, but it's not as common but yeah can and could are very common um, but yeah might isn't normally used as a model of permission in the United States. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so yes, I can. Would. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, would? Uh, if it's a request, uh, if, you're as, if, you're, if it's. Request, if, yes. If you're asking for, let's see, what am I talking about here? Uh, if you possibly, it's possible. Well, would you, yeah, would you, would you be able to help me? Is it possible? Yes, I would be able to. Would yeah. you mind? Yeah, would you mind? Would yeah. you mind opening mm -hmm. the door? Yeah, yeah. You can use that. Mm -hmm. Hello, Coro. Hello, how are you? Good, you've come to my dessert class. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. We're just talking about modals of ability and permission. Mm -hmm. So... Yes, could you yeah, could you uh, pass me some dessert, please? Or can you pass me the dessert? May I have some dessert? Might I? You can say might I have dessert, but it's not. We don't really say that in the uh, Would you uh, would you please yeah pass me? Um, hmm. So yeah, what about? Um, so permission, um, what about if you want to negate it, if you want a negative, uh, a negative, uh, so woofa? 
Yes. How can you negate if I said, um, I I can swim? How can you make that negative? You can't swim. Right, I can't swim. And uh, yes. So, what else can we talk about? We could use, um, if we're talking about an, uh, an ability or opportunity, um, I, uh, I could have gone to the party, but I didn't want to. So then we're talking about ability there. So I, I could have gone to the party, but I chose not to. So that's a little different construction. Use have. You use modal plus uh, plus uh, present perfect. Could have gone to the party, but I didn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. So these are all different ways to use these models of ability and permission. Um, any other ways we could say it? Hmm. What about, okay, so we talked about polite questions. When we use these words for polite questions, um, I was giving you some examples, like could you pass the, pass the ice cream? Um, but um, what if I'm asking you the polite question, how can you answer the question? What are some possible answers? If I ask you, could you please pass the ice cream? What, what are some answers you could give me? No, I don't. Yeah, and, mm. uh, uh, Coro? Here you are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah, here you are. Yeah. And, and what did you say, Coro? No. The end. Uh, you will uh, have the answer to the question. No. Hmm. The answer to the question. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what? Okay. What is the answer to the polite question? So Hamoud Hamoud said, "Here you are. Like, may can you pass me the ice cream? Like, here you are. You could say, here you are." Mm -hmm. mm. What are some other possible? Uh, well, the, what was the question? The question is, if you want to be really specific, the question is. Uh, could you pass me some ice cream? Uh, if you want to be very little, and if you you can you can answer the question by using the word could. How can you do that? Yes, you could. Oh. Yeah. All right. I could. Yes, I could. Yeah. Yes, I could pass you some. Sure. Um, but more things. Uh, more commonly, we say things like. Um, yeah. More commonly, we say things like. Sure, that's a common. Or no problem. Here you go. So a more a more typical one in the United States. Here you are is very nice and formal, but even more common in the U.S. is here you go. Sure thing. Here you go. If you're giving, if you're giving. yeah, here have a have a drink or here have some. Yeah, here you go. It's really common to say that. Yeah. What okay. about, uh, would you mm -hmm. please open the door? Mm -hmm. What would be the answer? Uh, then, uh, well, what do you guys think? What are some, what, what, what do you think you would say? Would you please open the door? Or is it, did you say, could you please? Or would you please? It is the same. I know, but I just want to know which one, because it, it might change the answer a little bit. So let's say, uh, let's say, could you please, could you please open the door? How can you answer that, uh, Wafa? What would you say? Yes, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, uh, did you say open? Yes, I could. Yes. So, yes, sure, Wafa said. Or you could say, yes, I could. Yes, I could. Uh, yeah, no problem. So things like no problem or sure, sure, yeah. Absolutely, you can say absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, of course. Of course. Of course I could. So those are common, uh, common answers to the polite question. Okay. 
So um, let's talk about Froyo. Froyo, which is stands for frozen yogurt, the popular dessert snack in the United States and around the world. Yes. A business aspect of this delicious product. Now, let's take a look at our article. <laughs> All right. Why everyone is what's that? Why everyone is rushing to open frozen frozen yogurt stores? Ooh. Ooh. Ah, uh, this is. Can you eat this on your diet right now, Cora? Is this okay? No. <laughs> I no. can, but I, 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 ha I must, I mustn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know, By the way, frozen yogurt is healthier than ice cream. By the way. Yes, yes. It's healthier. <laughs> it's less calories, less fat. It's better for you. Uh, okay. I think you should have one bowl of today. So, if you if you think that nearly every frozen yogurt store in the U.S. is the same, you're not imagining it. Small stores and large chains alike get their ingredients from some the same few manufacturers, according to the Wall Street Journal. Crazy. Here is the link there if you want to read it. Froyo stores have been popping up. That means frozen yogurt, right? Frozen yogurt stores have been popping up all over New York for the past several years, and the trend seems to be expanding. With big brands like Ben and Jerry's now selling to a variety of Froyo by the pint in grocery stores. There are several Froyo chains in New York, including 16 Candles, Off the Wall, and Red Mango, and they all seem to follow a very familiar formula. They get their Froyo mix from a handful of manufacturers, with the exception of Pinkberry, which has its own proprietary recipe for its yogurt and develops each flavor individually. Many of the shops are self-serve. They offer a variety of toppings, and they have a similar look, which the journal refers to as Tokyo Preschool Lounge. <laughs> Bright neon colors and curvy plastic furniture. Many frozen yogurt chains are nearly indistinguishable from one another. Questions so far on the, on the article before we continue? No. Ingredients. No questions. Okay. Ingredients. And the reason why so many Froyo shops are opening up... Yes. Oh, ingredients? Yes. Hello. Uh, yes. So, where, are, where is it? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So, what are ingredients? Who can answer his question? The ingredients are the food or the parts of a recipe. Uh, recipe. You need the list of things you need to make a dish. Exactly. Yes, the ingredients are what what the dish is made up of. So I taught a class uh, a few weeks ago about uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. And the ingredients... Um. Uh, so, Wafa, what is the what are the ingredients? Of did you hear me? Oh, I was frozen, maybe. But did you hear what? Did you hear my question? You are frozen. Yeah. Did you hear the? Uh, uh, so, what are the ingredients of a grilled cheese sandwich? Yes, it is clear. Nope, it's not. Cheese. Yes, cheese. 
and great or it's just these. Yep. Toasted bread. Yeah, bread. Anything else? Mm. Anything else do you want to put? <laughs> Anything else you want. Uh, I, I usually put a little butter on, on the outside. So. Yeah. Four. So. It's whatever makes up the food. This ingredient. It's the, it's the contents. So now we have a recipe. That's a recipe. Ingredients for a grilled cheese sandwich. Cheese, bread, butter, put it together, cook it, and then you have that's <laughs> yeah. Ingredient. So it's the uh, it's uh, what makes what's what all the different items in the food. So the ingredients of frozen yogurt are yogurt, sugar, you know. Okay. So, the reason why so many Froyo shops are opening up is because they are an attractive investment and the stores usually have good profit margins. They are there is a staggeringly high markup on the treats. CBS New York points out that yogurt selling for 59 cents an ounce costs less than a dime to produce. A dime is 10 cents. So 59 cents, they sell it, and it only costs them a dime. That's a 500% markup wow. on a 10% serving, a 10-ounce serving, when you factor in the expense of cups and spoons. So it's good business uh, opportunities, what they're saying. Make, making money. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. CBS notes that high rents on stores, $10,000 a month for a Red Mango franchise in Long Island, dro drive down profit margins. But Anne Cadet at the Journal says that in a city like New York, which has a very high population density, it's not hard to sell enough yogurt to generate revenue even after paying rent and other expenses. Sorry, teacher, what means Staggeringly. Ah, yes. Um, staggeringly high markup. So it means very high. <laughs> so oh, if okay. uh, so, to stagger. When I think of stagger, um, uh, this is what I think of. Hold on, I just gotta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just double check. I like to get some ideas. Um, to explain staggeringly. So, so if if you're very shocked or, or uh, amazed by something, so the stagger staggering is actually a verb, which is a kind of like if you're walking and you're like, hmm. oh, it's like that's okay, I'm amazing or something. Yeah. So yeah. that's a stagger. I just stagger. Mm -hmm. Like, Incredible oh, or something. oh my goodness, oh. staggering! You can't even balance okay. yourself. So mm -hmm. staggering, okay. high. a okay. million dollars. Okay. okay. And uh, uh, okay. On top of that, the labor costs are low because many of the shops in these chains are self-serve. Many frozen yogurt star stores are manned by only a handful of employees working at the cash register. All, all nine 16-handle stores in Manhattan generated more than $1 million in revenue last year, according to the journal. But there is at least one Froyo chain looking to distinguish itself from the competition. New Jersey-based Froyo chain Cups is being called the Hooters of Froyo because of its suggestive theme and attractive staff. Uh, that's it. That is our article. So, uh, what does it mean, manned by only a handful of employees? Mm, our manager management for only one. Mm -hmm. right? So I manage only. It means that in these stores, there are only one person working. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, uh, there's only one person maybe at a time, but there may be only five employees total. So okay. a handful is like three, four, five. A handful. Okay, handful. Okay. A couple equals about two. Uh, a few equals about three. A handful equals uh, around five. So these mm -hmm, are mm -hmm. just uh, different. Okay. Really yeah. Handful. It you comes know, from nice. hand, the word. Yeah, exactly. Full in hand. Okay. It's, it's, uh, so you can put your put five things in your hand or six. Okay. Things. Okay. Grab a handful of nuts. So a handful is a word that we use. It we can use it in other terms. A handful of employees. You can't actually put people in your hand, but you can say a small amount, a small number. Yes, yeah, so they're talking about labor here. So they don't spend a lot of money on labor. That's correct. Okay. So they don't have to pay that many employees. They it's. Mm -hmm. You, it's self-serve, right? They say self-serve. Like sometimes a gas station, like petrol, you go to the gas station, you self-serve, you take the gas and you put it in your car mm -hmm. yourself maybe. And this, these frozen yogurt shops are self-serve. You go to the store, uh, you grab a cup, and you go to the machine and you put some frozen yogurt in there. You go to the station, put all these amazing, delicious ingredients, and then you bring it to the cash register. There's one person there and they just bring you up, take your money, and you eat your dessert. So it's a, uh, it's a good investment. Mm -hmm. I have other question. What means dim or something so? Mm -hmm. Dim. Oh. Uh, One moment. Mm -hmm. I cannot see it. Is it dime? Dime, yes. In which dime. part of it? Uh, they talked about um, it only costs a dime to make. Yes. Uh, a dime is a, it's a coin in the United States. So we have a penny equals one cent. Mm -hmm. Nickel equals five cents. You know, learn about American currency now. A dime equals ten cents. Okay, okay, okay. And then, of course, a quarter a quarter is a quarter of a dollar. So that's, of course, how many? Twenty-five cents is a quarter of a dollar. So, dime. So yeah, penny, nickel, dime, quarter. Those are our most common. Okay. Common mm -hmm. change. Yeah. The, Coins, currency. So yeah, they're just using. They like to use different words to make it more interesting. Any other uh, vocabulary here? Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, now I wish I had some. I wish I had some frozen yogurt now. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Maybe we can look at some. This might be torturous, but we can look at some uh, some pictures. Uh, let's go back to our screen share here, and I can show you uh, what's what I can find here in my city. These are stores in Atlanta that I can find uh, in my city. I can go downtown. I can go. Go to the sh to a shop close by, and find. So this place I can find is called Euphoria. See, it's very busy, and see the colors. The Tokyo Preschool Lounge they call it. It's like very Asian, modern, colorful. Looks almost like a cartoon. Euphoria. Yeah. Uh, let's look at their let's look at their website. Euphoria. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? No, I'm not supposed to show YouTube videos, so I won't show it. But uh, 
Ooh. Hmm. So they're talking about. Oh, there's, see, here's ingredients. That's. Uh, uh, they're talking about what's inside. So here's the ingredients of their banana flavor frozen yogurt. Uh, organic Valley milk, organic uh, grade A fat-free milk, vitamin A, palmitate, vitamin D3, Stonyfield organic yogurt, cultured, pasteurized, organic, non-fat milk. These are all the ingredients. Condensed milk, sugar, dextrose, vegetable fat, coconut, uh, all these different things, lemon juice, soy protein, and fresh bananas. And it makes this banana flavor. So those are ingredients. Anyway, so, and this, these are all stores that are close to me. I can go to any of these stores and find some kind of... Uh, Delicious. Yogli Mowgli. <laughs> That's a good name. Uh, what's happened here? I don't know what happened. But uh, this takes me to the wrong. Anyway. So, those are some stores near me. They're quite tasty. Yogli Mowgli. <laughs> Yogli Mowgli. It's fun to say. <laughs> yes. So, now we have uh, an opportunity to make some money though by selling delicious treats to kids and adults who want a dessert. Um, could you see yourself managing a froyo shop? Hamoud, is this maybe some kind of business you might try to attempt? There's an opportunity for money making. No, I haven't tried. But would you would you be interested in uh, going into this business yes if I have money I will try to open a shop uh -huh. yeah, they and uh, gain the money mm -hmm. they say this is maybe a good good uh, profit right you can make some good profit and you could probably get some but cream. I think it is uh, difficult mm -hmm. Yeah, opening business is always to different. compete uh, to compete a uh, big company. Right. Well, and you have a small, small amount of money. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes, of course, it's always difficult. You always have competition, and you have to know, you have to figure out how can you stand out from the rest. How can, how can you convince people, persuade them to choose your store? rather than the other guys, rather than the competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about you, Koro? It's you a very interesting there? idea, but here in Spain in the last, last two years, in my opinion, there are open too much uh, frozen yogurt stores. Ah, so they're popular in... Really, it, it was crazy, because mm -hmm. the people thought what you read and it cost only 10,000 euros to have a, a frozen yogurt store and this is possible for some people mm -hmm. but uh, for example here in Madrid in the big streets here near close to my home uh, there are two, uh, three or five frozen yogurt stores this is not possible in the long wow. time in long time, this is no. not possible. Yeah, it won't last. It's too mm -hmm. much. There's a word for that in English. If you have too much of competition, too much, that's called a, a glut, I mm -hmm. think. A glut. Like There's like five restaurants all in the same place. It's a glut. It's mm -hmm. too much. And now is other problem, other more, uh, fashion with the electronic cigarette. Here is crazy. In the last, oh. in the last six months, here there are um, are open five or six. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are very um, cheap franquishes or who is the name? What is the name? Franchi. I don't know. Fran one moment. 
um, oh. it was in the article this word when you mm. both buy it, um, mm. when you acquire a a name mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. yeah, electronic cigarettes yeah those are getting franchise so this is the this is one moment mm -hmm. this is the word uh, oh, oh uh, franchise. Franchise. There are cheap franchise. Mm -hmm. They from frozen yogurts or electronic cigarettes. There are very, very cheap yogurt. Uh, <laughs> no franchise. And for me, is they are too cheap. Um, too cheap. Yes, for ten thousand euros, you can open a store. Yeah. You think it's too easy, and so there's too much competition. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know that there was a franchise for these electronic cigarettes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know it's a new thing and it's starting to become popular in some places. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Here yeah. in Spain, in the last time with the recession, there are open a lot of uh, all the stores are franchise. All the stores. Oh, okay. Really? This is a very big problem for the people with a uh, no franchise store. When you have a 20 years old store, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you got to be careful uh, to diversify. You got to have different uh, mm -hmm. different kinds of businesses to have a healthy business uh, environment in your community. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to go out of business. You're going to go broke. What about you? What I think you might want to open up a yogurt stand, open up a frozen yogurt shop. Mm, no, I don't think so. Hmm. Have, you, have you ever been to one of those places? Mm, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. But there's like um, a dessert that we have. It's very famous. It's can um, it have yogurt, a lot of yogurt, and um, it's called a yogurt dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the easiest dessert. Sometimes if uh, my friend come in and there's not time, so I make it for them, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they feel upset because it's very easy. I should do something very professional. <laughs> so, what is that? What's the difference between that? And is it like? Is it not cold? Is it? Um, what is your frozen? It's cooked. Dish? Cooked. Yeah, it put in the oven. We like we have like biscuit. We crush it mm -hmm. and we mix it with the butter. Um, mm -hmm. then we put it in a what do you call it? Uh, a pan, something, a dish, dish, yeah. and then you put the other, not a pan, it's the dish that you put in the oven, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, the other, you put like yogurt and dry meat, uh, dry, dry milk, uh -huh. and um, sugar. Um, Powdered sugar, mm -hmm. mix it in, mix it very well, and then just put it and hmm. put it in the oven. That's it. You bake it, huh? Interesting. I've never thought. I've never heard of a baked anything with baked. I put some. You bake with yogurt. Top. Uh huh. Wow. So that's interesting. Uh, if if you made that for me, I would not be angry. <laughs> I would that would be very mean. So um, uh, let's see. Um, we're talking about trends in business. We're talking about dessert and food and delicious things. But we're also talking about business trends. Uh, what is a trend? Attendance, no, from the fashion or the people. 
To buy something or to to consume th something. Yeah, well, it's not really a verb. It's more of a it's more of a noun. It's like fashion. A fashion you can have a fashion trend. So it's something that's uh, popular, maybe for a short time. Maybe a trend is like a small. So something uh, becomes very popular, like uh, like maybe someday this this maybe a trend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anyway. in Morocco. Uh, maybe, the maybe, maybe next year this will be the new fashion for one year. Yes. yes. That would be a fashion mm. trend. So, mm -hmm. um, so we're talking about business trends, and we're saying that this yogurt platform, this yogurt uh, franchise, this yogurt idea, uh, frozen yogurt uh, model, it's a business model. They say it's, it's a surefire way to make money because it's cheap and you make a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. It's a trend. Um, are there any other uh, business trends that you've seen pop up in your area? You know, well, you, you already gave me a good example, Coral. You said uh, electronic cigarettes uh, mm -hmm. sellers, they become a new business trend. So what else? Um, Here is popular now the um, restaurants and the bars, very cheap. Okay, restaurants. Without, um, without service. You have to go to. Really? Uh, Self service uh, bars? And no. Um, almost. I uh, One moment. Yeah, um, yeah. Without a waiter. Like so. And okay, you so have it's not like, one waiter. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like the frozen yogurt places. You go in, you get your drink or you get your food, you go to the, the cash register, and there's one person there that takes your money or something? Or, or when you are in a, in this, on the street in a table drinking something, uh -huh. Uh -huh. normally it's a waiter Yeah. here in Spain. But on the last uh, time, it isn't a, a waiter. You have to go inside the bar. Uh -huh. uh, Put your beer, and go outside again. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So it's like kind of like a cheaper way to have a bar or a restaurant. You go to the go inside first. You get your move. It's like a fast food. It's like fast food, mm -hmm. but also for mm -hmm. a bar. You go and get a drink, take your drink, and bring it back to your table yourself. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to pay the waiter. That's mm -hmm. a lot less money that they have to spend, so they can make more money. Mm -hmm. And so, okay. That's interesting. I can't think of any bars like that in the United States. Well, in, in some party towns like New Orleans, mm -hmm. you can find stuff like this. But not really. Huh. That's interesting. And that's become popular recently? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you like it or do you not like it? It's a good idea from the people the they consume but not for the workers because that means many uh, less ah, <laughs> jobs, jobs. Less jobs. Yeah, and you're looking for a job mm. yourself right yeah but yeah. someone is richer <laughs> yep someone's getting more richer and the people that need jobs are sort of mm. trying to find it okay mm -hmm. interesting huh mm -hmm. So uh, Wafa is gone now, and uh, Hamoud it might be gone. Hamoud, are you back? Or are you still? Are you? He said he was leaving for some reason. So uh, I was going to ask him the same question. Uh, now it's just you and me, Koro. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the name uh, in English to say the tables on? Outside the bar, terra. Who is the name? Oh, uh, the patio, maybe. I don't know. You can have a bar without tables on the street or patio. Huh? is the name? The patio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be out on the patio. It's like uh, that's the word. I think it's like if you have a nice, let's a little bar, and then there's like maybe outside on the street there's some umbrellas and some. Yes. Tables. Yes. It's the patio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Patio. Here is very very popular. Yeah, well, if the weather is good, it's yes. great mm -hmm. place to be. Mm -hmm. Much better than being inside. 
I like to. I love. I always choose to eat or drink outside if if I can. I'm always. Yes, way, it's the best. Great. <laughs> yes, eat out in the patio. There might be other words. Patio. For here the bars are to pay for half a patio. Oh, do they? For what uh, about each? Uh, yes. Uh, are you allowed to smoke inside the buildings in Madrid? No, side uh, since two years mm -hmm. is uh, forbidden. We have to. They have to smoke <laughs> outside. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is that why? The businesses have to pay for a patio because of the smoking thing. No, I think no. It's very taxes and so things. Each table is a uh, more. Um, you have to pay for each table you have. Really? Yes. Five oh. tables or ten tables. Oh. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I would think that would be have something to do with the smoking thing because you think that uh, people are going to want to have a patio so that people can smoke because then yes. they can have more customers. So mm -hmm. I would think that maybe that's why they there's a tax on it so that mm -hmm. the government makes more money. To me, it's, it seems like smoking has a re that smoking is the reason, but maybe not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, one moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is the name for? One moment. Yes, heater. But now the the patios have um, heaters. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we do it in the United States too. Mm -hmm. know, they have these like these big poles, and they have like they, mm. they're very warm, and it, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's becoming popular here too. Mm -hmm. So because people love to eat outside, plus then there's more tables, you can have more customers. <laughs> if you can keep <laughs> your patio open in the cold, then you can have more customers to give you money. So, so yes, all different business business uh, things. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I want some frozen yogurt now. <laughs> oh, that looks good. All right, I have two more classes today. Um, okay. Next one. One hour. It'll be about the famous uh, destination uh, Stonehenge in England, and then I will have a music class where we'll talk about a, a music festival that happened in, recently in the United States. Wow. Music. Okay. <clears throat> that is my class. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye. Yes. We'll see you next time. Yes, see you later. Bye-bye. Take care.